My name is Terry. I'm a brick mason. I'm responsible for installing brick on resident houses. Basically, on a start out in the morning, I, we get a guy to start the mixer up. He has to get the mixer, the mud going for my brick mason. I have another guy stocking the brick up to the house and setting the mud stands up between the brick piles. And then my brick masons can get started. The brick masons, they're, they're the ones that install the brick. My helpers is the ones that mix the mud, totes the brick to the house, and the masons are the ones that install them. And then as the day goes on, a helper, he joints the walls, sweeps the walls, and then starts setting the scalpel up once the mason gets the wall scalpel high. For them young guys that's trying to get into brick mason, if look for a program in your high school. If not, try and find your summertime job with a mason and go off of job training. You know, you, once you get in with a, a owner that owns a business so much as myself, and you give him some motivation of learning the labor situation so you can become apprenticeship. To start apprenticeship, you have to learn how to be a labor first. Then you start apprenticeship, and then once you get on the apprenticeship, you are actually laying brick. Don't take no license or nothing, just good gump to go and do it, the job, and then you become a brick mason. Now I can give you a little clue on the worst part of this job, is it's tough. It's hot, it's cold in the winter, you don't have a heater and you don't have air conditioning. And it's pretty rough on your hands where a lot of us use gloves, a lot of the helpers use gloves. And it's, it's, it's pretty pretty hard job. So you got to kind of have a motivation of wanting to be a brick mason. When I come up in it, in the field, I wanted to do it. After I got done learning how to be a mason, and I do this kind of work right here, I can stand back and look at it and be proud of it. I look at it and say, well, that's a pretty good job that I've done. My final advice to you young guys is to stay in school, try and get you a course. If not, get you a summertime job to see how hard it is and how you would like it. And another thing while you're in school to help you is you always need a man that knows how to read a set of blueprints and that will help you out going down through the course of being a mason.